So one year in the Finnish league, uh, three total years in Germany, three years in Austria, three seasons in Switzerland and uh, various leagues and two seasons in Denmark. I think I got all those right. You covered them. Yeah, I covered it. So that's a lot. Um, yeah. Favorite country that you got a chance to play in in Europe? Uh, Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland by far. Um, the quality of life, uh, the lifestyle on and off the ice. Switzerland's a great country. Uh, Finland, by far the best league I've, I've played in. And I played in the Swiss A League. I played against KHL teams, played against Swedish elite league teams, played against all the top leagues. And uh, the Finnish league to me is the toughest because it's the most North American style, uh, but you're playing on the Olympic sheet. But it's the physicality is, is, is really good. And it's tough to live in a country like Finland <laughs> because, you know, the Finnish people in general are very reserved. They're, it's dark for most of the winter. It's, you know, it's a tough, tough league. You have to be, you know, it's, it's, it's very similar to the American hockey league is what I try to you know tell people. Um, but, you know, I, I, listen, I enjoyed all my time over in Europe. I was over there for 12 years. My, my three kids were born in uh, three different countries over there. So, you know, Europe ha holds a special place in my wife and I, uh, in our hearts. What drove the decision to, one head back to North America and two to strap on the, uh, the coaching cap there. Uh, well, I, you know, I had actually, when I was in Switzerland, I decided that I had been, I'd been already played seven years pro and that it might be a good time. You know, I graduated from Maine in, in 2006 and I was like, God, I've been out of school for seven years. Uh, it might be good to, to try to extend my uh, education. And, and so I got my master's degree in management with the intention to, you know, go into the business side of hockey and, uh, you know, try to work my way up through the managerial side. Uh, but as close as I got to the end, the more I realized that uh, I could potentially, you know, have a, have a career in coaching. Um, and it, when I retired, it just became more and more clear that coaching is the way I should at least go for now. That's, that's the avenue that I want to go. And, you know, so far I've really, really enjoyed uh, my time coaching.